Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to more of the Dynasty Series Deck Profiles. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be talking about Dimitri the Copycat Duelist. Now, during the GX show, uh, there was a showing of uh, Yami Yugi, the King of Games deck, going around the world without the god cards in it, and it has some interesting cards involved with it. However, I did not see enough cards for me to make a full deck, so I decided to add some more of Yugi's cards in order to fill up the deck slots and um, just have some, you know, cards that should have been in his deck anyway. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and look at the rarest cards in this deck. Now, without further ado, we can already tell he's got Dark Renewal. That is a rare card in itself. It's super powerful and helpful and is easy for getting out Dark Magician of Chaos. Speaking of other rare cards, he's got the Black Luster Soldier, his boss monster. This monster is extremely busted and it, all it takes is one light and one dark monster in the grave. Looking at these two guys right here in order to summon it. So it's pretty freaking good. Actually, it's really freaking good. Which uh, is why we need to get on to Dimitri's stats. Because Dimitri's stats are going to be quite terrifying. In fact, we're going to start with the attack stat. And looking at Dimitri's monsters, he's got the classic Dark Magician. He's got Basic Gazelle. He's got Dark Magician Girl, Buster Blader, which he's not supposed to have, but I gave it to him. Uh, Dark uh, Black Luster Soldier, Dark Magician of Chaos, Burfamet. Burfamet kind of lowers it. Skilled Dark Magician, which he's not supposed to have, but I gave it to him. Skilled White Magician, which he's definitely not supposed to have, but I gave it to him. Um, so there we go. Maybe he was supposed to have Skilled Dark, I don't remember. Um, and some Karibos and Wadapons. So... This is the deck. Overall, thanks to the skilled dark and skilled white magicians, the attack stat's pretty high up. Black Luster Soldier makes the attack stat go up. Dark Magician of Chaos makes the attack stat go up. Buster Blader's Potential makes the attack stat go up. The Dark Magicians make the attack stat go up. Literally, this deck is super solid when it comes to attack. So solid that I'm willing to give this deck a 6 bars in attack. Mostly because of the skilled Dark Magicians. I know there are some cards weakening it here, but overall, most of the monsters here have 1500 or more attack which means we're gonna go above average i know the new average is 1750 but we have that and we have plenty of tribute monsters and fusion monsters to help out with that so i'm going to give dimitri six bars in attack now let's go ahead and move on to the defense stat which looking at this dark magician solid for a two star gazelle not the best uh black luster super solid dark magician of chaos super solid uh buster blader super solid dark magician girl meh Burfamet, solid, but not great. Uh, skilled Dark Magician, uh, that's actually really good, uh, solid. Uh, skilled White Magician, amazing defense, that's actually a really good tank card. Uh, Karibo and Wadapon, not so much. Karibo does save your life points, but that's more of a tactical card. Um, looking at everything else, I guess Swords, that's pretty freaking busted. Dark Hole's pretty busted. Overall, this defense stat, thanks to Skilled White Magician, there's a lot more drops in defense in the other monsters compared to the attack stat. I'm going to go ahead and go with a solid 5 bars. This is a 5 bar defense stat, all thanks to the Skilled White Magicians in the deck. Yes, I know they're gifts from me, but guess what? That's what he's getting. Um, and yeah, overall, this deck looks pretty efficient so far. So let's go ahead and start talking about the speed stat. Now the speed stat, we do have a lot of special summons. We have Burfamet for, uh, for searching, and sur searching a special summons is the speed stat. We got Wadapon for searching, uh, I mean for special summoning. We got Skilled White for special summoning, Skilled Dark for special summoning. We got Dark Magician of Chaos for searching. We got Buster Blader, nope. We got Dark Magician Girl, nope. We got Dark Renewal for searching and special summoning, that's really good. Polarization technically, Monster Re Reincarnation for recovery. Graceful Charity for searching, Dedication Through Light and Dark for special summoning, Multiply for special summoning, Card of Sanctity for drawing. Looking at all of this, this is a pretty fast deck. Um, it's not the fastest because a lot of these require spell counters for their speed. Um, a lot of these cards require specific spells like Haribo and Multiply, Dedication Through Light and Dark Magician. Um, so I can't give it a perfect speed stat, but what I can do is give it a solid 5 speed stat. Above average speed will be given to Dimitri for this kind of a deck. 
Mostly because of BLS. That's such an easy card to get out. It's so nice to have. Especially since most of his monsters are light or dark. Just like Gazelle is not in Buster Blader. So that is really freaking good so far. Dimitri's stats are stacked. So let's go ahead and get into the skill stats. So the skill stat will be affected by stall, burn, and win condition. Um, looking at this, we have a monster that attacks twice. Monster that searches no that has nothing to do monster a monster that stops damage so that's like anti-skill of your against your opponent um let's see we got swords which is stall so there's a point or something um multiply which is stall so there's a point dark renewal which is stall well not stall that's fast speed so never mind uh magic cylinder which is burn so there we go mm-hmm Gazelle, the I mean, Chimera is technically stall because it summons two monsters upon destruction. Um, overall, I'm going to give this deck a mm, Magic Cylinder. Multiply so... Okay, so I understand the stall. Okay, Swords and Magic Cylinder are basically all the skill I'm seeing here. Because Multiplying Karibo is pretty freaking situational. But I can't ignore it. So I guess I will still give a 3 bar skill stat. It's not the most skillful deck when it comes to burn or stall or, you know, stuff like that. But, or, or win condition. There's no win condition here. Um, but overall, it's still really good at other stuff. And has options in, in skills. So that's not the worst. Um, I think the next stat we need to get into the, is the Brick stat. And interestingly enough, this deck does have a lot of dead cards. We have the Thousand Knives, which is dead. If you don't have a Dark Magician on the field, we have Dedication Through Lion Darkness, which is dead. If you don't have a Dark Magician on the field, we have Multiplies, which are dead. If you don't have a Karibo on the field, so that's a lot of dead cards so far. Um, we have Dark Magician itself. That's not easy to summon, so that's kind of dead. BLS is easy to summon in this kind of a deck, so I can ignore that for Brick. Dark Magician of Chaos, um, it's kind of in the same boat as Dark Magician. Buster Blader, it's kind of in the same boat as Dark Magician. Dark Magician Girl is a single tribute 2000, that's kind of worth, so I guess she's fine. Burfamed is a 1400 not, oh, single tribute monster, so that's definitely not worth. Even the 18 defense isn't that great. There's plenty of people in this series that have 19 and 2000 beaters, so it feels like Battle City all over again with that kind of stuff. Overall, I'm going to have to give this Brick stat... A little bit of a beating because there are a lot of brick and specific cards here. Yes, there's a lot of help. We got Grace with Charity. We got Pot of Greed. We got Swords. There's a lot of help here too, but I'm going to have to give this deck a four brick stat. I could see you running out of cards in this deck. The polymerizations are going to brick you up. I could definitely see this deck being brick. I'm going to call this deck brickable. This is a brickable deck. You're going to get bricked up every now and then. So, Dimitri overall so far is actually a pretty damn amazing duelist. You can ignore the brick stat. It doesn't seem to be that important overall. And honestly, having an average brickable stat still means you're going to not brick most of the, I mean, half the time. So, that's not bad. And there's plenty of decent monsters that I've given this guy. So, honestly, this deck is a pretty big menace in the series. I got to give it to him. The King of Games deck is going to get a solid three and a half star potential this is a tournament contender three and a half stars is one of the best uh potentials i usually give out and uh, well that and up um i usually really reserve the four star four and a half star and five star decks for the really really powerful decks that should win tournaments um this one i think has a great chance the only reason it's not going to um uh, the only reason I'm not giving it like a guaranteed chance of winning the tournament, like a four star or something, is because of all the situational cards that I'm pointing at right now. These situational cards are definitely going to slow down the deck. So at the end of the day, this is a tournament winning deck. I could totally see this deck taking the tournament. It has a lot of power behind it, a lot of defense that it needs. It's fast enough. It has a little bit of skill burn here. You know what? This is a solid deck, and Dimitri is a contender for the champion. So I'll see you all in the next deck profile. I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been Dimitri, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.